Now at 11, take a look at your screen. Tonight, a Columbus City Schools Task Force is proposing the district close or consolidate these 10 schools and facilities across the city, all in an effort to enhance students' learning experience. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew's off tonight. 10TV has been following this task force since it was formed in February. 10TV's Carly Dion was at tonight's school board meeting, Board of Education, and she joins us now in studio. Carly? Yolanda, as the task force presented its final recommendations to the board tonight, at many points the parents and community members could be heard reacting and even booing in response to the closures. But by the end of the night, many parents say a bit of trust has been restored in the school board. So the task force final recommendations include the closures of seven schools, two facilities and one administrative building, which is nearly half of its initial proposal. The buildings would be closed through three phases. The first phase would focus on elementary schools, second on middle schools, and the final phase on high schools. The list of school closures includes Buckeye Middle School, Moeller Elementary, Fairwood Alternative Elementary, Broadley Elementary, West Broad Elementary, Lindbergh Elementary, and North Linden El Elementary. Columbus Preparatory School for Boys would merge with Columbus Preparatory School for Girls, and Columbus Alternative High School would move into East High School. While the board voted unanimously to accept the recommendations from the task force tonight, they did say they plan to take more time to get additional feedback from the community before making any final decisions. Of ensuring that we are, you know, having opportunities and information in multiple languages, ensuring that we are coming to where our community is at and not expecting them to come to us, making sure that these opportunities are in the buildings, that they're during hours that families can participate, that our students can participate. Meanwhile, I also spoke with members of the Columbus Education Justice Coalition as well as many parents following tonight's meeting. While they were extremely disappointed in the final recommendation, from the task force, they say they believe the school board did the right thing in not only acknowledging the many concerns brought to them from the school community, but agreeing that more time is needed and discussion should be had before any decisions are made. It's felt difficult to trust the word of our school board members at times. Again, the, um, the scandal involving board member Simmons comes to mind. It's felt difficult to trust our administration uh, but I do feel like a bit of trust has been restored tonight. But I do think that this is a, a first step, and as I heard President Vera uh, speak, um, I did start to feel a little of that trust coming back. And when asked about how long it might take for the board to make a decision on these recommendations, President Christina Vera says however long it takes so that they can get it right. Carly Dion, 10TV News.